Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm going to go over the safety sim from Prompt Technologies. This is their fully automated electrical safety analyzer. As you can see in the box it comes with a red lead, black lead for doing point to point. They connect right to the front. I also have a clamp. This clamp here will connect to a quarter twenty lug. You can see it right down there by the carabiner. Here's a carry strap that's part of the electrical safety unit, and that's pretty much it. It's a very compact unit, you can see based on the size of my hand. It's only, I don't know, maybe about four and a half by six inches. So, very small, but it's got a lot of features. Now one of the things I want to point out to you guys is I know that it's flickering in the display, but it's not flickering here for me in real life. It's actually a very vibrant, light on dark LCD display. It looks really nice. The controls are pretty simple on this guy. There's a safety sim button, a down, up, a setup, an auto, manual, and a start, enter button. The two points on the front are test lead and point to point or calibration port. You can see right there. So the first thing that you have to be aware of with the safety sim is that every 30 days you have to calibrate the unit. And the way that you calibrate it is you either stick this guy here in there or you can clip it on in the hole. And then it will have a screen that says you haven't calibrated this unit in the last 30 days. Would you like to do so? Yes. You stick it in there and about 30 seconds later it will clear out. So let's go ahead and do that manually. Okay, it says periodic test lead zero, required before resistance testing can be performed. You can see there's a little countdown timer, and it's telling you step by step exactly what you need to do. Now notice that there's two LEDs, the indicator down here and up here. Those will come into play later. They're actually very cool. It's a system that the guys at Pronk have developed so that red light means you have to do something, green light means you're good to go, or your, your test has passed. So here you can see it's saying over 50 milliohm max. I just stick it down in the hole, hold it there, hold it there. There you go. It does it automatically. There's no need to press a button. And your options from here are remove to zero the jack or to continue. We're going to continue, enter. And now it's ready to do earth leakage checks on your equipment. So let's go ahead and exit back out. There are a bunch of different features that you can use, either the electrical safety features or you can see that there's a 10 lead ECG on it. So you can run through ECG uh, performance. <laughs> here you go. So these are activating the ports up here. It's now giving out an ECG. You can see it's got uh, 20 for the respiration rate, 60 BPM, and you can do auto sequence, which is kind of cool. You can see it starts out at 38, 60, 20, 180, over 40 for respiration. Now, I myself have not had to use that yet. Ooh, it actually goes up higher, goes up to 220. All right, we're going to hit the button. We're going to go back to the safety. We're going to hit the auto and manual button. Now we cycle down for here in the United States. We do um, NFPA 99 2012. That's an automated test. And there's also the NFPA 99 2012 AP, which is the uh, associated parts. And that's when you're going to use like a point to point. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on it. And it says, would you like to start? Let's go ahead and connect it up to our device. Here's this guy. The port for plugging stuff in is gonna be over here. There we go.
All right, so it is ready to do an automated test. You go ahead and click on start. It's automatically checking the ground resistance. Now remember, we already zeroed the probe, so we know that that's good. Now notice that it's giving me a red flash. The red flash is telling me that it is not good. And here's one of the cool things about the pronk unit is while you're trying to find a good ground on your piece of equipment, it will beep and show red until you get a really good ground. As soon as it gets into the acceptable areas, you see there how it's now at 120 milliohms. It flashed green showing it's good, and now it continues right along with the test. You can see it flashes green real quick, shows you that it's good. Good. Now it's telling me to switch the device under test power on to repeat the test. So here's where I go into the unit. The power button's all wore out. So we go ahead and boot it. this guy is broke <laughs> okay we're gonna go ahead and tell it to go ahead with the test anyway continue now like I said guys it's not flickering for me in real life it's has to do with the frame rate of the camera versus the frame rate of the refresh of the display and here's the final result you can see that it shows you a green light go and it gives you a brief rundown. Now you can export all the stuff and this particular unit, if you notice, it's also Bluetooth and this will work with the Bluetooth app. It does a really good job with that. We'll go over that later. So here you can see it's all done. So you hit clear exit and we're out. So it's ready to go to the next piece of equipment we disconnect our ground lead, put it back, and we press on to the next thing. So this ground lead is a pretty cool piece of tech. So notice that it's got the lip right here, and that lip catch on the edge of equipment, or catch on the edge of metal surfaces, but it's also got a stainless steel needle puncher area right there where it can really get in on painted surfaces so you clip it onto a painted surface give it a little bit of a wiggle those stainless steel pins right there will bury themselves past the paint layer and it'll get you a good uh, resistance value so anyway guys there is not too much more to go over on this guy um, I didn't show you guys the ECG other than the auto that it can kick out but it's a very simple and easy to use safety analyzer. Now, I encourage most people to do automated tests because they're standardized and they're idiot proof. But if you guys want to go into manual mode, all you got to do, let's go back manual and we can scroll up, hit enter. Now we can go step by step like we would any manual electrical safety analyzer. So even though it's on manual mode, you can see that it's showing you it does not have a good ground. So let's see, I'm going to fish around here. See, it's looking, it's looking. It's going to start alarming here in a second. See it? I, I get it in even better ground. It stops flashing and it's good to go. So notice it went from ground immediately into earth leakage and I just continue out the rest of my tests manually, step by step. Pretty simple. I like how it auto scrolls from the ground straight into doing the chassis leakage and earth leakage, but um, that's pretty much it guys. It's a 
well-rounded, lightweight electrical safety analyzer. I would really like the fact that it's got the lights that are embedded in it and it shows you step by step if you've got a good ground or if it fails or passes even a piece of a test it'll flash red or green and at the final result it shows you a green light so technically you could leave this guy in a bag or over on your cart you can be way over here on automated tests you can be playing around or even holding a point to point it runs through your test and you don't have to read the numerics although you can see I'm probably six foot away from it at this point. I could still read the display from way back here. It's really bright, it's really large. See that? Oh, it's not flickering on my camera anymore. Good. So you can see, I can see it's 21 microamps from way back here. It's a really nice display. You guys know that that matters quite a bit to me. The lead is a really high quality lead, probably one of the best quality leads. You can see on the old system that I used to use, this was the type of lead that we had. I mean, it worked for decades. But once you go to this style test lead, there's no going back. It's just second to none when it comes to getting a really good reading, especially on like painted surfaces. You can mount it to your cart if you want with the quarter 20 lug that's on the back. This is just a like a ball mount type stud. And the point to point, hardly ever use it it's a very rare thing so normally you just wind the cord around the unit and put it on your cart and go so anyway guys that's the pronk safety sim this is the bluetooth version and it is loaded with a bunch of features very simple very rugged little design it's got a nice carry handle guys there's not much to complain about here and when in doubt, it's got this really cool card that comes with it that shows you all the feature sets of the device, which you can take off if you want. I really dig that it's here because I can give the safety analyzer to other people and say, here, follow the instructions on the card, and they can just do it, especially on automated. This is probably one of the easiest automated testers I've ever used. But I, I normally do a lot of manual type tests, especially if I'm handling something that's a little bit more complex than like this ECG here. But there it is, guys, the Pronk Safety Sim. It's an excellent little device, very portable. I dig it. Thanks for watching, guys.